Well, a city in Pennsylvania is removing a park bench with a religious quote in order to placate angry atheists. A public park in Oil City features a bench which was donated in 2003 by the local branch of the VFW. The bench bears the phrase, men who aren't governed by God will be governed by tyrants. Nobody seemed to be bothered by the bench until the secular lobby struck. American atheists sent a letter demanding the removal of the bench, and the town complied, fearing the cost of litigation if they didn't. Amanda Kniff is the National Legal Director of American Atheists, and she joins us tonight. Amanda, thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me. So people who aren't governed by God will be governed by tyrants. Aren't you the tyrants in this story? Uh, I think we are the folks that fight for equality for everyone. And when this bench was put with a veterans memorial, it was demeaning to anyone who's a non-Christian veteran. Well, it's not just Christians who believe in God. Virtually everyone but you and the Buddhists believe in God. So why so just Christians? So about 25% of military uh, enlistment either claim no religious preference or are atheist or agnostic. So the idea is that the word God is offensive. Just the appearance of the word God is no, so offensive to those who don't believe God, in God. Not the word God, but the fact that, you know, assuming that if you're not a religious person or a Christo Judeo person, that you're, you're going to be governed by tyrants, dismisses the morality and the compassion that many of our veterans and our soldiers have. But just because they don't believe in God doesn't mean that they're not good well, people. Nobody, nobody's suggesting that. Look, this is but, a park bench in a town that's down on its luck. It's lost population for almost 50 years. It's not a rich place at all. And you come in with a well-funded group and say, do what we want or we'll crush you in court. And they that say... That is not what we did. Well, sure. That's no, what they isn't. say you did. Well, um, if you look at the first letter we sent, first of all, we got a complaint. It wasn't like we just went looking for this. Who was the complaint from? It was from a resident in the city. Who? I'm not going to say his name. He wants to remain uh, confidential. So on the basis of an anonymous complaint, someone can come forward without even giving his name and just say, I don't well, like this. we know their name. But then what we do is we research but, but it. But don't the residents of... Look, you don't live in Oil City. If we had either. gone to litigation, they had would have come forward. They had, a park, they had a park bench. Okay, so yeah. one guy who doesn't even have the courage to stand up and reveal his identity gets to control the entire existence of no. this park the bench in a city of 10,000. covers what's going to be the bench. It has nothing to do with this. I mean, well, the First Amendment prohibits... This, this bench had nothing to do with veterans either. But was the bench establishing a state religion? I think because it was on the city park and the city had put it there and agreed to accept it, that they were saying that anyone who is a veteran but doesn't believe in God is someone who's going to be ruled by tyrants. Again, dismissing the compassion and the morality that comes from... Okay, so they said something that you don't agree with, which is okay. Lots, well, lots, of, lots of things that the government says I don't agree with, sure. but this is not an establishment of a state religion. So the first According Amendment doesn't... According to the doesn't... Supreme Court, when you put something like there and you don't open it up to all points of view... No, the Supreme Court didn't say that, and that's why our currency continues to have in God we trust on it. That's why the president... Members of they Congress, make, they make a very, federal judges are all sworn in and they shouldn't invoking be. God. But I'm just saying, we live in a country where the U.S. government uses the word God all the time. And the, the Supreme time. Court has said that that is serial, ceremonial deism. And we still fight that. We still think it's wrong because it dismisses... But why not pick on the currency? Why pick on this kind of down and out... No, but you, basically the point is you come because in you here go where and you crush, the little, you crush you, the little guy. We're not crushing the little guy. Well, of course you are. What are people who want to sit on the bench in the we park? We offered to pay for a brand new bench. Oh, really? And we what did. would the bench be like if you would... We pick? told them that if the VFW would pick out a different quote that was actually appropriate to veterans, uh, we would pay for a brand new bench. But you wanted to put from American Atheists on Oh, there. we wanted to put somewhere on there just a little plaque that said paid for by American Atheists. Oh, so you're putting your religion on the bench, but isn't that an insult to people who believe in God? Why are you not violating the First Amendment? You because said that we they didn't can't make any, We weren't making any kind of statement about what sure, veterans Sure, you said American Atheists. They had the word God on there, and the word God was offensive to people who don't believe in not God. Not the word God. It was the phrasing of those no, who no, don't believe not. in God. It's a very old okay, quote. Okay, so you're just talking about you know ideas and things. If you if you you may feel that, but you're a Christian, and people who aren't Christian look at that and don't feel the same way. I, I, I get your I get your point, but you're violating your own principles because you're saying you wanted to replace the bench that you claim is a representation of Christianity with a bench that has an explicit statement about atheism, which is, no, of course, its own religion. No, we didn't want any explicit No, but you said you wanted donated by the American atheists. That just says where it's from. We wouldn't have a problem with the VFW putting it on there or somebody else saying they paid for it. The statement itself would have been... But your name itself is a statement. I mean, the, look, the quote is not an endorsement sure. of any religion. So part of the, part of the, well, that's your take on it, but we believe it is. Okay, well, having a bench that has American atheists on it, doesn't that make non-atheists feel demeaned? I mean, look, here's the point. This is not about making a group of people feel included. It's about crushing people. No, it's who not. Are un of course it is. No, it isn't. Then, then why aren't you doing this, I don't know, to the federal government? I mean, we the are. President of the United there States are 
several organizations, and we all have ongoing lawsuits about how t uh, churches get special tax treatment, about how they don't have to have transparency, about how preachers get a special deduction on their mortgages and their homes. There's all kinds of what things. What about the that we're Declaration fighting. of Independence? What about it? Well, it contains the word God. No, several it, doesn't. it says Creator. Okay, that is that is a, that is a synonym for God. In your mind. And so what? Uh, no, it in is, the minds of the people who. Of war. It's oh, not, it's so not what if it, it? Okay, but it is a founding document that is part of our secular religion here in the United States. The Declaration of Independence is like central to our history. It is. It's something that all school children learn about or should. It is. And yet, it's got God all over it. It doesn't have God. It has Creator. But, just you know, a that's just times. Come on now. Let's but not let we're adults here. God, creator, deity, it's the same thing. Okay, but when they did our Constitution, they left God out of it. Okay, but I'm just saying, they kept it's it in the... Are you, but do you think that the Declaration shouldn't be stored to the National Archives? I think it has historical value, uh, but I think we also need to recognize that the people who wrote it back in the 1700s had, had very different views than we do and had a very different understanding of the world. Okay. I mean, they... If you saw a swing set, if there was a swing set in Oil City, Pennsylvania that had a cross on it, someone carved a cross on it, a Christian symbol, would you tell them to take it down? No. Why? Because if, unless the city uh, approved it or it's graffiti. No, I wouldn't. I would hope okay, that. What if the city there. had a swing set that just kind of had a cross on it? What swing set would have a cross? Well, I don't know. It's a Christian symbol. I mean, the point is look, no one was being hurt. And but that's your point of view. There were people in the town, who? veterans, who did not like who? it. Who were they? I'm not going to give their name. Okay, then if you won't even tell me their name, you're telling me that I need to believe there's a large group of people or any people offended by this, but you won't say who they were, and yet you took... The, there are a lot of people who say they like the bench. We okay. know their names because they're willing to stand up and say it. Okay. But on the basis of what you claim is an anonymous complaint, nobody gets the bench. Well, the bench is actually now at the VFW site, so it's still there, and people know, can still what, visit but it. But last question, why hassle people? I mean, the bench wasn't... I mean, let's just be totally real. There are a lot... In a country where every senator swears in on the Bible, you're hassling some little town in Pennsylvania over a place people like to sit. Not all members of Congress swear on the Bible. Many of them use the Constitution or another Or the Christian. Quran or right. the Torah. Okay, but religious documents. Why are you bothering these people in this little town? Why because do that? Because someone came to us and we thought that there was a constitutional issue and the city agreed because they removed it. Okay. I just think it's awful that people anonymously can hurt other people without standing up and saying who they are and what they believe. I you think know, it's awful. The threats that we got when we did this. Whatever. I, okay, you know, but I mean, you're coming on here and saying what you think, but you're claiming that some anonymous guy, like, hassled this little town and he doesn't even have the courage to say it to the face of his neighbors. And I just find that deplorable. I'm sorry, but we have a reason why he okay. came to us. Well, thank you totally for joining fine. us. Thank I you for having it. me. I appreciate it.